Hey guys, it's Bomb TROV coming back to you again today. And today we have some exciting footage of our first open water launch. Uh, the first time that I had the rover out of a pool environment and uh, it happened to be in a reservoir near Valley Springs, California. And uh, it was a little bit of a challenging situation with uh, the visibility restrictions. Uh, there's been a lot of rain this year in California, and uh, I, think, I think that that has contributed to a lot of uh, stirring up the minerals and clouding the visibility in the reservoir. Uh, but it was a good situation for exp uh, experimenting and trying to work through some real life scenarios that we will undoubtedly encounter using the blue ROV2. And uh, even though there were challenges, it was a great learning experience, and I think we had some moderate successes. So uh, you can go ahead and check it out and tell us what you think in the comments. Please uh, like and subscribe to the channel if you like this type of content. And uh, it's starting to get more exciting now that I'm starting to get familiar with the platform and feeling pretty comfortable with using it in scenarios like open water. So. I think that the coming videos, there might be some more uh, excitement in store. So thanks for tuning in and we'll jump over to the, that footage. So you'll see the rover kind of twitching left and right a little bit. We were having a little bit of a challenge with maintaining a straight heading while moving it. And it turned out to be a good thing that we had the drone footage rolling because the drone actually was an aid to navigation the visibility in the water was um, difficult to see anything other than the bottom and the, the drone I guess was a peace of mind that we were able to find our way back home and also it helped us to locate the buoy as well um, even like five or ten feet in front of us the if the buoy wasn't that close uh, it would start to become invisible to us and the sonar only works under the water. And, you know, it was, I'm not sure, it wasn't really picking up the, the small anchor line, but once you were close to it, it was pretty easy to see. And we were able to follow that anchor line all the way down to the bottom. It ended up being in about 32 feet of depth, which I was able to know from the telemetry readout on Q ground control and it wasn't super difficult to follow the, ro the anchor line all the way to the bottom even though you can see it getting a little closer and further away from the current. I had to kind of continuously bump back in towards the rope so that it would maintain uh, visibility and when I did get to the bottom I didn't know that it was approaching as quickly as it was and there was a little bit of a hard landing and the sediment stirred up and kind of induced a momentary panic when I didn't I didn't really know what was going on. So I did just return back to the surface and from there we were able to use the drone footage and the camera on the drone to aid us back to shore about 200 feet back towards land and i think it gave us this little adventure here gave us a food for thought for things to consider on future deployments and potential problems that we can resolve and not have to deal with in the future all in all it turned out to be a beautiful day and i'm glad that we had that opportunity for our first open water launch and i'm glad to bring it here to you guys on youtube and talk about some of the the pros and the cons of the first open water launch. Thanks for tuning in today and next time we'll have some more progress to share with you and until then have a great day.